Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Dissonance, and you are watching Easy Minecraft Builds. I keep these tutorials under 10 minutes long to give you small structures that you can use in your own worlds. Today, we have this medieval crane. Let's get right into it. First up, let's give credit where credit is due. This tutorial is based off an image I saw posted by Rock Pope. I've already spoken with him. He is happy to have me put this tutorial together. But please do check out his Instagram. He has some fantastic builds. It is at rockpoke underscore MC. You can find the link down in the description below. Okay, so I have gathered everything up that you will need for this build. Let's go through it nice and quick. If we open the chest, we see that we need 15 stone bricks, 9 stone brick wall, 19 oak wood. Make sure this is oak wood so all sides should be covered. Uh, 24 spruce trap doors, uh, half a stack of spruce fence, that's a little extra, but that's fine. 3 campfires, 11 spruce slabs, 1 piece of uh, spruce stairs, 5 chains, 1 chest, 2 barrels, and 3 grindstones. Once you have gathered all of these things, we can get started on the build. So once you get to the area that you would like to create the structure, we're going to start with a 3x3 three three stone brick square. This is the base that we'll be building on. Once you have that down, let's go ahead and add our pillar that is the center to this crane. It is going to be seven of the oak wood stacked vertically. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That will take us all the way up. Once you have that central pillar, we're going to come around to each of the sides, kind of like a little plus sign, and place oak wood. Two pieces each. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. There we are. In the corner between each support, we're going to place one stone brick wall, like so. Just rounding off our base. And then on top of that stone brick wall, one piece of spruce fence. Once you have that part of the base complete, we're going to place three stone brick wall, one, two, and three, leaving an empty space to the right of the pillar. Then we're going to place spruce fence in that empty slot, as well as on top of each stone brick fencing. That gives us one direction where we have a lower part to the base, and this is the direction the top of our crane will be going. Once we have this built up, we're just going to place a piece of spruce fence on either side of the crane, and this is the uh, horizontal direction the arm will be heading. With the central pillar complete, let's start with the counterbalance. So coming to the non-arm side of the crane, we're going to come down, we're going to go to our spruce slabs, and we're going to place this on the lower part of the block, and then the upper part of the block below. This should leave you with an empty spruce slab space right here underneath the fence, and we're going to bring that out for a second block. Once you have this on the lower half, we're going to place some oak wood. So you should have this diagonal motion coming down. After that, we're going to build the stone brick counterbalance. It's going to be one, two, three coming down, one to each side, and one more coming up. Should give you this shape here. And lastly, we're going to fill in with the stone brick wall here and here. Once you have this little design created, it's time to add our spruce trap doors. So these are decorative. We're going to place them in a straight line going down. Kind of like an upside down T along the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Once you have that complete, you can also make three along the bottom. This gives a nice little frame to our counterbalance. So with the main pillar and the counterbalance complete, let's build the top of our crane and finally the arm. Come up to the top of your central pillar and make sure that you are facing this horizontal direction so that you get the, uh, the, iron, the iron looking pieces of your trap door in the right direction. It can be a little bit tricky if you're in creative and you're flying to uh, shift and right click, but that's what you'll need to do so you're not just opening the door like that. You're actually placing it. And this is going to be six long in total. So we have the top of the central pillar and two out this direction. And then we're going to build three spruce trap doors this way. So one, two, and three. There we go. Let's add our first two chains. They will connect this piece of wood here 
to the trapdoors above, like so. And now we can finish the arm of the crane as well as the top piece. Moving along, underneath this spruce fence post, we're going to place the oak wood. After just one, we're going to switch to spruce slabs so that we can do the top half, and then the bottom half of the block above, and then continue that for one more. Once you have two of those, we're going to continue with the oak wood again, place two down. And this is where we're going to place our campfires. One, two, and three. I like to have the high logs facing the direction of the crane. For the fires, in order to extinguish them, you'll need to right-click them with a shovel like this. Now they're all out, and the wooden blocks are in place. They're a very sharp-looking design piece, which is why they're included. Once your fires are extinguished, we're going to switch back to the spruce slabs and continue out from the top of the oak wood. One, two. Make sure it's the top. And then next to the campfire, you're going to place your last spruce slab, one right there. And this time, we're going to switch to the spruce stairs. Make sure that the tall part of the stairs are facing out, and place it, and this gives a nice little end to our arm. At the very end, we will place one final oak wood. Good, so now we pretty much have the entire crane constructed. Let's go ahead and add the final piece, which is the load that it is lifting. First thing we'll need to do is place a grindstone facing down like this. Once you have the grindstone in place, make sure that you shift click so you don't access the grindstone, and we're gonna place three chains coming down. One two, three. Once you have that, switch over to your spruce fence, and we're going to make the beginning of our little pallet. Once you have the fence in place, build down one more. We will branch out from here in each direction. Once you have branched out from the center, extend each of those. And finally, we can have these little arms come down. You should end up with a structure looking like this. Finally, let's get our pallet in place and then we can put down the chests and grindstones. To begin, I like to dig down one block like this so that I can see this fence post here and place my first spruce trap door. Once the first one is in place, you can go ahead and place the other two going across. I like to make sure that all the metal rings are facing the same direction. You might have to fiddle around with this in order to get it to work. If I place one here, the rings are now in the wrong direction, but coming off of that, now they match. So I can get rid of this one, come to the side, place a door, and now they match. Do the same thing until you have a uh, three by three or a total of nine spaces completed. Like so. Now once you have your little pallet platform complete, go ahead and switch over to your grindstones. These decorations give uh, kind of like stone arms that are, whoops, that are holding this in place. There you go, one on either side. And finally, just for decoration or for practical use if you'd like, we're gonna add chests and barrels. Here's one. And I like to add two barrels on the other side. Like so. And there you have it, a completed medieval crane or medieval fantasy crane. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. If this tutorial helped you out, please hit that like button below. And if you would like to see other content by myself, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Have a great rest of your day. This is Dissonance, signing off.